So here is the entryway. We've got the kitchen and living room to the right. We've got a toilet in here, complete with a bidet and heated seat. And then upstairs, we've got the two bedrooms. And then right when you enter, you've got this really nifty storage area where you can put your shoes on the bottom and then you can put accessories like hats, gloves, scarves up top here. So it's a really cool way to stay organized. And then moving right along the toilet. I've never had a toilet with a bidet, so I'm really excited about that. It actually has a sink on top, which is really neat. We definitely don't have that in America. And then here I've got this pocket door that leads into the living room slash kitchen area and it's just one big spacious room. I absolutely adore the light wood floors. I've got so much room here to do all the activities. I can do jumping jacks, punch, kick, kick, yeah. I don't know. One cool thing about Japanese homes is that they have these shutters and you open them like so. And then moving right along, we've got a sliding door over here and it also has one of those shutters. And also here in Japan, you don't really have central air. So we've got air conditioning units, one right here and another one right there. And with that being said, whenever you enter a room, you always wanna close the door. So that's why I closed the pocket door over here so that the air doesn't escape into the hallway. I feel like all the Japanese homes are really good at conserving energy. And over here, you've got the remote control for the AC. And actually this entire unit is also a heater and a dehumidifier so look at that that's pretty neat thankfully the landlord put everything in english and then over here i actually don't know what this does right here i can like see outside oh and fun fact they actually have the same outlets as america so it makes it really easy here is my little cooking area my stove and then my teeny tiny oven you can probably fit like what six cookies in here and then you've got storage and look at how cute this little dishwasher is it is so small i'm not gonna lie though this sink is pretty massive and then over here we've got the washer and dryer which is very small compared to american standards it probably holds about half the capacity of what we normally do in america so yeah that's gonna be a challenge so here is what all the controls look like And then over here, we also have this nice oversized sink and then some storage. And then over here, I've got my bathtub slash shower area. Really tiny. Let's see if I can fit. I can't even extend my legs all the way out. And check this out. There's this little control panel over here and I have no idea what it does. Here is another control panel. Speaking of control panels, let's go through all the control panels in this house. Eleven different controllers. That is insane. Over here is a much needed closet. I don't think this house has very much storage space, so it's a good thing I don't really have that many things. Okay, so now let's make our way upstairs. It is really hot up here. So over here, we've got another toilet. Over here, we've got the secondary bedroom. It's actually decently sized. It has the same wood floor as downstairs. It's got two little windows. And then here's a decent sized closet too, actually. And then through these doors, We've got the master. Yeah, so I find it really interesting that the bedrooms are just separated by these sliding doors. But yeah, really decently sized room. And then over here, I have another sliding door, just like the one downstairs, and it just opens up to a balcony. Get some fresh air. Too hot for that right now. And then here's my walk-in closet. Over here, I've got a shower. and then some shelving. And then it's really interesting that these walls are like squishy. 
So in Japan, they don't let you put nails, but they do let you use thumbtacks, which is perfect for me because I like to hang all of my things with thumbtacks. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire house. I'm really excited to move in tomorrow and it's gonna look really awesome with all of my furniture inside and it'll be fun to decorate. Thank you.